without further ado, it gives me great honor to announce the name of your new PDL soccer team, Kokomo Mantis FC. As you can see, Kokomo Mantis FC is named after the iconic, discussion-creating, and even lovable public art piece, Coco Manis. This metal fabricated sculpture installed at the corner of Washington and Sycamore Streets has sparked questions, debate, served as a backdrop for countless wedding pictures, and has become a local landmark. So we're going to be actually unveiling our uniforms later this spring. Um, you'll see these colors as part of it. You'll also see some secondary logos, including Coco Mantis FC, which will be our nickname, which we'll bring to the table and be on a lot of our merchandise, how we brand. That unveiling of those uniforms will also come in conjunction with the unveiling of the schedule which will also be coming out. The league typically does that later this spring, and you're gonna see some uh, rival competition against some close by cities, and then also some extensive travel for this team as well. Now, uh, as another chapter, and I guess the first chapter of this franchise unfolds, it's also my honor today to announce the first franchise manager. Coming to us um, from Sao Paulo, Brazil, as a native, he's entering his ninth season as assistant coach at Marquette University. And during that time, and since 2009, he's a two-time Big East champion. He's coached 10 players uh, to the professional ranks, and he's a former assistant coach of the Thunder Bay Chill of the PDL. With that, I'd like to welcome and congratulate Marcelo Santos as being the first coach of the Kokomo Mantis FC. We are looking to bring an uh, exciting brand of soccer to Kokomo. Uh, with our group, with MKE Sports Entertainment uh, in behind and provide everything we need to be successful. We're looking forward to have a great season uh, with a great competition in the PDL. In the PDL this year, we're going to be expecting some of the best collegiate soccer players in the country to come. Just like with the Jackrabbits, um, the level of play will be that just below professional soccer. Um, and with that, you can see a lot of, as we saw, the cities, Kokomo stepping on a level of national scale. Uh, the teams in this league stretch all the way from Maine out to the southwestern corner of California. So really, this team is stepping on a grand, grand scale with cities much, much larger. It's going to be interesting to see how Kokomo competes, but we feel that um, we're putting on a product very similar to the Jack in terms of entertainment and what fans can expect from us on a game-to-game -game basis. So it's very much like what we did with the Kokomo Jackrabbits in terms of we're not just a soccer game. We are an entertainment venue in itself. So when you come to our soccer games, you're going to experience the music, the food. Um, the only thing that may be a little different is we have our certain supporter section, which is unique to soccer in itself, that those fans are going to be chanting, chanting and making noise and being loud and screaming. So the atmosphere itself is going to be packed with energy, and that's what we'll bring from a soccer perspective. We're here with John Perzik, business manager of the Kokomo Jackrabbits. So how does the transition go from the PDL League plane to the Jackrabbits, and what window is that overlapping? Um, the way we include it in with the season, um, the Jackrabbits will start in late May, and uh, we'll just intertwine those Cocomantis games within the Jackrabbits season. So one day you can see come out to a, a Jackrabbits game, and uh, the next day you can come out and, and watch uh, Coca Mantis uh, play some soccer and then uh, vice versa. I mean, we, we'll, we'll be able to interchange that in with the season. This could be really, really interesting.